always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. We're in the final hours. You can hear the Jaws music. The cold weather is approaching. That cold front certainly uh, full steam ahead moving toward West Michigan. But for now, it's a nice evening. Let's take you out over downtown Grand Rapids. Cloud cover filling back in, but it's still warm out there. In fact, temperatures this evening well above 10 degrees above average for afternoon highs this time of year. Bottom line, it's warm. It's been warm through the first few days of October. In fact, it has been a record warm start to the month. We're at 80 right now in Grand Rapids. It's 78 in Kalamazoo, 79 in Holland, 80 degrees in Muskegon and Allegan, still at 82 in Hastings. Again, the big story continues to be that what we call season change in cold front that is en route. We're really going to start to feel the effects of fall. First in the form of some soaking rains overnight tonight into the day on Thursday. And then the impacts from temperatures will be down to the 50s for highs by this weekend. In fact, it will be cold enough to touch off some lake effect rain showers, which is how you truly know we are entering fall. Here's the front situated across the UP, central Wisconsin, about to hit Madison, about to hit the Quad Cities. It's moving fairly slowly though, which provides a pretty wide window for us to receive some rain. Not seeing it now, besides some showers up to our Traverse City, and we don't have any rain adjacent from West Michigan. You actually have to look off to the Southwest. We have an area of rain to the east of Springfield, Missouri, to the south of St. Louis, and it's thanks in part to this influx of moisture. If we turn on water vapor, you can see it pretty clearly. And as this funnels into West Michigan, that's when we expect the rain showers to begin to touch off. Let's show you a future cast. We turn the fronts off. You get it, cold fronts coming. So we head past midnight. That's when we really see the radar start to light up. And this model seems to think that after daybreak, we really see an influx in activity that continues through mid-afternoon before it starts to shut off from northwest to southeast. Predominantly dry overnight Thursday into Friday. And then some uh, showers, perhaps of the lake effect variety, for Friday evening that carries over for us into the day on Saturday. Rainfall future cast still a bit tricky because there's likely going to be a stripe of some heavy rain on the order of one to two inches that sets up near just south of Grand Rapids, but there will likely be a sharp cutoff on either side of that as well. So places like Byron Center, Hopkins, Wayland, over toward Caledonia stand the best chance of seeing an inch or two of rain, but note that this still could fluctuate about 15 miles north or south, depending on where that heaviest rain sets up. We can certainly use the rain, though. Most areas have seen less than half of our average rainfall over the last 30 days. Your eight-day forecast shows big changes. Still in the low 70s tomorrow, but we're down to the low 60s Friday, low to mid-50s for the weekend and early next week. The warmest we look to get next week is mid-60s, which is a far cry from the 80s we've been enjoying over the last few days. So bottom line, yeah, the warm weather's just about done here in West Michigan. Yeah, I guess so. We'll see you. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Blake, Mike. thank you.